guys, this is a special one for you. Aratwila. It's a um, long marrow, I think, in English. We're going to do it a um, couple of different ways. I'm going to show you uh, mimli, bit uh, pork and beef stuffing. Anyway, let's move on. Very, very easy. This is one of the simplest recipes. And I'm going to do a bit of a bonus one. I've got a Maltese sausage. I'm going to put that in as well. But first of all, we're going to start off with the stuffing. We've got a bowl. I've got a mixture of rabbit seasoning, salt and pepper, uh, paste, conserva, tocine, parsley, thyme, garlic, bite, egg. This is uh, parmigiana. Basal, onion, and this is a mixture. It's quite a lot here for this, what I'm going to do, but I've got it a bit extra because I'm going to do uh, polpetti tomorrow. It's pork and beef mixed together, and we're going to mix it in a mixing bowl. Simple, guys. The only difficult one is you're going to have to dig out the insides. So you find something a bit reasonable size. Because what we're going to do is boil it on the hub. So we'll cut some equal size. Get them reasonably the same size. That's one, two, three, four. And the other one I'm going to do a Maltese sausage. These are a little bit long, I think I'm going to do them a bit smaller. I think that's better. No problem, these can be used for loads of different ways. You can put them in a soup, all sorts of things. Let's make them a bit smaller. Because I've got to, I remember I've got to close the lid, so I'll show you. Yeah, that's better. And this one's gonna be like this, I think. I'll save these for tomorrow. Can mix them in soups, all sorts of things. Let's put these here. This is gonna be for my Maltese sausage. I'm gonna have a go at this. This is something new. I, I was driving along and I was thinking, how am I gonna do with the stuffing? And I said, I've got a Maltese sausage. Here is a lovely Maltese sausage. I'm gonna do a special video on this Maltese sausage because every butcher has got their own way. You can't say it's got torsine, it's got uh, garlic in it, it's got... Uh, Oh, everybody, every butcher has got a way to do it. And I've got a local one, Balzan, and I'm trying to talk to him. Some people are a bit camera shy. Uh, can I come in and see how you actually make the sausage? So that's why I've been holding that video back. This I'm gonna put inside. I'm gonna cut it to size. The only boring bit about this, you have to cut the insides out. And I'm not gonna bore you with that. I'm gonna start now. Really do it with a spoon. Let's do a little bit smaller. I'll show you roughly here and then I'll leave you, just do it like this. Just keep on very gently cutting away. This is the best one. That's a very, very easy. It's a bit boring. I'll come back in about, take me about 10 minutes, I think that's all. Let's go away with it. Guys, this is the simple way to do it. It's a bit boring to uh, get them out. There we've got four. We're going to do four today. And we've got this special one. This is uh, a bit of a bonus and it's an experiment. So if it flops, I'm going to cut it off the video. <laughs> anyway, there we, where we've got the uh, Aratwila. It's long marrow, I think it is in English. We're going to start with the stuffing now. Those are ready. Um, very, very easy. Something I didn't tell you, I did a bit of sauce. I 
I did a, uh, they call it broader in Maltese. It's carrots, onions, uh, celery with a, with a cube, like a chi chicken cube, uh, a bit of garlic and some conserva. But you can put any sauce. The idea of the sauce is so it steams the uh, ara. Now this word, ara, with the Q, Q-A-R-A. -A. I'm sure the Maltese expats are laughing at the moment. This is close to another word, which you're not supposed to say. And when I first came to the island, I used to say it. Um, I thought, well, it's not going to be rude if I say this word can be pronounced with a H. And everybody used to laugh at me and I'd say, well, what, what am I saying wrong? He says, you, you're pronouncing it wrong, you should pronounce it with a Q, with a uh, not with a H. So, what does it mean? But I'm not going to say it on YouTube, but experts don't know. And don't put it in the comments because I'll get demonetized. I'm already having problems. Uh, dingley has started to creep up, have you noticed? I think something weird went on with that dingley because that's an adventure. Adventures really get over the thousand and they get going. But I noticed it wasn't uh, analyzing very good. It started two, three hundred, then it died. None of my videos do that. Some of the, you know, the ones I'm, I, I'm just fooling around with a sort of English one with the, with the tin ones. Only the faithfuls look at it. You don't get any outside people and, and I don't put it on any, any Maltese sites so it doesn't really get any generated. Even those get up to three, four hundred. This one, really stuck around two, three. So I think something weird happened at YouTube. In fact, a couple of uh, subs mentioned that it didn't get, uh, you know, notified to them. So who knows? YouTube has got their own devices and you can't speak to anybody, you can't send emails. You just have to say, please, up to you. <laughs> anyway, those are ready. We're gonna do, this is ready for the sausage, the bonus. I've got a bit of bacon as well I'm gonna put in. I forgot to tell you. We chop those up and we'll put it with the meat. It's not part of the uh, recipe. But listen guys, bacon. Bacon is a bonus for every, everything. Makes everything taste so good. And if you can get a chunk of bacon, even better. Let's put it in with the meat. So set these aside, these are ready. We're gonna do the stuffing. We've got a bowl, we'll put the meat in. Now this is a bit extra. It's really open to you guys. How big, how many you're gonna do, how big the... You can even do this with arabali, with courgettes. Uh, arabali is in the same fabric, with a marrow as well, if we don't find this, because I, I'm not sure if this is only in mortar. Um, I've got my rabbit seasoning. This is really nice, oregano, paprika. I put like a tea, say a tablespoon in there. Pepper, salt, bizarre mel. A spoon of conserva. This is a fast, easy recipe. You know, everybody can do this. We've got some uh, parsley and garlic. Torsin autumn. Onions, basil. Just throw everything in. And uh, this is. Italian parmigiana. Uh, in Maltese they do it like uh, talhak, job on talhak. We're going to put the egg in. Let's give it a bit of a mix first. Give it all sit together. This is plenty for those. But as I said, tomorrow I'm going to do some polpetti, you know, those sort of put it together. Or meatballs, it would make as well, make some nice meatballs. You make as much as you want, uh, whatever you're going to do, how big your your marrows are, the sauce, do whatever you want. I did this brodo. Uh, I'll show you in a minute when I'm putting it in. Just put a little bit of a layer and you sort of steam it. That's how it works. Sometimes, uh, if you don't like eggs, the job on talak, the parmigiana, Italian parmigiana, you can use any cheese. Even if you want to use cheddar. Nobody's stopping you. Cooking is just open for everybody. Put an egg in there. This sort of stops it coming out a bit, binds it together and gives it a nice rich taste. Let's 
coming together nicely, guys. Very, very easy. You know me, guys. I'm just looking for the easy way out always. With a good taste. Something I can maybe freeze and, and eat in the week. Maybe make four or five, put it in the freezer, take it out and make a fast, easy meal. This is ready. So let's, we're going to use this um, saucepan. And again, very, very easy. Just stuff it full. Mimli, they call it in Maltese. Aratuila Mimli. So we've got onions in here, we've got some fantastic taste. Sorry for being for being a man. I gave my best, but was it late? But was it late? I'm looking forward to this sausage one. I'm gonna I was driving along and I thought, you know, like I want to make something a bit different. I haven't prepared the uh the saucepan. I've got to find a big saucepan for it because I don't know how big it's going to be. So easy, eh guys? Fill them as much as you can. Pack all that goodness inside it. Look. Do the other one. As I said, if you want to use a marrow, those fat marrow, how about those big fat marrows? And fill it all with this. Cut it sort of... Uh, I never thought of that. That would be quite nice. A big marrow. Cut it a few times and pack it full. That would be good with the, uh, with the family, eh? I think the bacon's going to give it a good taste. I was thinking whether to brown the bacon a bit. Because you get that sort of smokiness. Pack it full. I made these a bit, bit long because uh, I was thinking about the lid. It's not going to fit on very good. But you can make it any size you want. Fill them up full. Wow. It's got a fantastic taste. What a lovely smell. Plenty here. This can be frozen as well. Meatballs, pulpetti, like a... a pulpetti is like a fried a cake sort of thing. Look, it's lovely. Let's set that aside. Give my hands a wash. We're going to move on to the sausage in a minute, guys. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Because I think my sausage is too big for my aratuela. <laughs> anyway, I got this brodo. Very easy mixture, but as I said, it's open. Uh, you can do tomato sauce in there uh, if you want to make some, uh, oh, uh, just anything you can put in there, like a bit of a sauce. Uh, make it a bit thin so it gives that sort of steaming. You need to get a sort of steaming effect. This has got a uh, bit of potatoes, carrots, onions garlic and celery so don't put too much in because we don't want to make them soggy the let me just put this we want to steam them put the cover them just just right if i made them too tall they would have been touching to the roof Okay, let's get those on the go. I'm going to move on to the sausage. I'm going to have to try and find a, a big saucepan for this. And I think I'm going to thin this out a bit so. Because there's a lot of flavour in that sausage, so you don't have to worry about flavour. We're going to boil that as well. Oh, 
drive me crazy this. Sometimes it doesn't just switches off. Okay, we got that on the go. We're gonna do the sausage. I think that's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Bit of bacon. And I'm gonna try and I'm going to try and wrap this sausage. I don't know how it's gonna go. In the bacon. Yeah, it's going in. I think one would be enough now. Wow. What do you think about that, guys? And I'm gonna boil that. Let's put it straight in. Let's see what happens. Just a quick idea I had. I've got a bit of bacon left over and put it in with that. No problem. Let's get that boiling. Uh, the sausage is gonna be boiling as well. Hopefully it doesn't leak out. That's a bonus, so if you don't see it, you know I'm gonna cut it. That cooks for about, say, give it 30 minutes. Test the side of the, uh, the courgettes, I call them, uh, out of twirler, uh, see how it is. It's gonna steam, it's gonna boil, and it's gonna get cooking, it's gonna, all that goodness is gonna go straight inside. Back in about 30 minutes, uh, let's see what's happening. Many, many minutes later. Okay guys, I think we're ready. Um, it's been about 40 minutes, something like that. Um, but don't think you're gonna get away with it. Depends on uh, how much you boil it for, how much sauce you get in. I estimate about 30 to 40 minutes. Keep trying it. Uh, you can't really tell you exactly because you obviously you just push in a little bit, see how tender it is. Uh, let me see. Oh. Wow, it smells fantastic. Mm. Really fantastic smell. Let's see how they came out. The problem is trying to get them out in the hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's put two. I'm feeling. I've got the sausage. I've got the multi sausage as well. I forgot about that. There they are. Get a bit of the sauce over the top. Oh, I use the. Uh, where did I use it? <laughs> you wouldn't get this on BBC, would you guys? So you've got the potatoes here. You've got the carrots. It's like, uh, you know what? Um, this is this is uh, a, a soup in Maltese. Brodu, it's called. Uh, they, they put all sorts. Of, you know if you've got the old carcass from Sunday. Put the carcass in, put uh, potatoes, put carrots, put uh, celery, some, some uh, garlic, some onions. That's what they call brodo. And they've got a funny saying, you know, if, if things aren't very good, they like say it works. They say, how's work? They say, brodo. Uh, I'm not sure where that comes from. But anyway, <laughs> that's something I picked up as an Englishman. I was thinking, why if things aren't great, they call it after brodo. Brodo is tasty. So anyway, maybe the expats can tell me below. Oh, this is tender, guys. Yeah, it's very, very nice. I'm going to show you guys. Let me show you. I don't know what's happening with the GoPro. You might be noticing sometimes with the GoPro, like that sort of flashing. It might be that these bulbs are energy savers or they're uh, something that's clashing with the GoPro. Because it doesn't happen with the Sony. It only happens with the GoPro. So, I don't know. Mmm, that's really good. And you know what, the, uh, the brodo, the sort of, I don't know, what, what would you call that in English, brodo? Like a sort of um, a stock, uh, a chicken stock. Oh, that's really good. Potatoes are lovely and tender. Hey, let's try the sausage, guys. That's good. Make some mashed potatoes if you want, if you just want it like that sort of vegetables. Make a few more vegetables and potatoes, put it in with it. Oh, you know, it's so versatile. Stuff this with whatever you want. If you're vegetarian, like I hear a lot of comments about vegetarian, put it with cheese, put it with beans. Uh, somebody told me there's a, there's a, a nice mixture in water called uh, bigilla. 
they stuffed it with begilla. That's, you've got that dip of begilla. So really you can put any sort of dip in there and it would come really nice. Make some egg with it so it binds together. Hey guys, let's look at the sausage. Wow, let me switch off. I'm going to try and get that out guys. I've got to try and get the sausage out. <laughs> let's see what happens. Here it, ooh, not so good. Here it comes! Wow! Morty sausage. Hey, let's bring the GoPro a bit cheaper, a bit, bit nearer. Oops! This is fantastic. Hey, this is a this is a new invention of Englishman. Aratwila Bill Sasset Malti. You know I like a lot of Maltese. This sausage is everywhere on the island. And it's as I said, every butcher has got a different idea. He mixes with the different uh, uh, all, all sorts of spices and uh, tocine or onions and things like that. Mortis like to eat it raw. Now I don't like really, I got off that sort of meat raw business uh, when the mad cow thing came in. I got a bit nervous about it because I used to have my meat sort of semi-rare. And now I cook everything like crazy because there was a guy in Malta that suffered from this laham hazin, like bad meat. Got me a bit scared, I thought. It could be inside them, so I cook everything. So eating raw sausage, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. So uh, Maltese do eat the, the Maltese sausage raw, but I cook it. Mmm, Maltese sausage is beautiful. And you've got the taste of the Arabalia, of the uh, Aratuila. This is very, very versatile. Put anything you want with it, potatoes, you want to make some other veg of you. You've got the veg inside it, so mashed potatoes, chips, anything. Thanks guys. This was awesome. I really enjoyed it. I've seen it a lot of times. I've never cooked with it and I always wanted to cook with it. And it's really tasty. It's got a lovely, uh, a bit like courgette, but fractionally different. Thanks guys. Tasty, lovely. See you again guys, thanks very much for, and share it if you can. Come and watch my videos and come and on live. One o'clock on Sunday, let's have a chat. See you guys. So please subscribe to my channel And give me lots of likes